What's going on, riders? It's another ride home review, and this week I watched uh, Vice, which stars uh, Christian Bale, Steve Carell, Sam Rockwell, Amy Adams, and directed by Adam McKay. Who, if you recognize that name, he did a wonderful movie called The Big Short a couple of years ago. Uh, but before I get into that, get into the uh, bulk of things, don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Uh, uh, like on Facebook, follow on Instagram, and also listen in podcast format uh, on Anchor. And so, so check all those out uh, at Ride Home Reviews. Now, the movie is basically a biopic of Dick Cheney um, and where he came from and where he ended up. So, pretty much. Uh, goes right into depth of his political career, which is his entire career. Um, uh, what I liked about this film, first and foremost, Christian Bale's performance. Second of all, Amy Adams' performance. Uh, spectacular actors doing spectacular jobs. The makeup job on Christian Bale and Amy Adams and the, the, fa and the uh, transformation from when he was young until he... Uh, was the Dick Cheney we we remember seeing all the time over the last uh, 20 years it was just absolutely phenomenal it just blew my mind um, how you could hear Christian Bale a little bit in the voice but man they did a wonderful job on the makeup and hair and just awesome awesome almost uh, reminiscent of Gary Oldman last year in the darkest hour how you could only see his eyes. But anyway, uh, I digress. Uh, the other things that I liked was I felt that um, the editing was superb. I liked the nonlinear storytelling, um, going back and flashbacks and flash forwards and, and this and that, and all, you know, just crafting the beginning to end of this, of this film. Um, uh, yeah, it was just, wonderfully wonderfully done um great cast uh it was just yeah it was just another superb outing by adam mckay in all facets the things that i didn't really care for um it wasn't much uh i really thought that there was parts that went long went dra dragged out a little bit um i'm not so sure i would have spent so much time on his youth i probably would have got to the the meat of things uh towards the end of his career because i felt like they may have left some things out and overshadowed it by spending too much time in his youth but you needed some backstory so i understand that choice but it may have been too long sometimes some of the narration was eh, it got i don't know um i liked the the reveal uh of the narration the reason why it was there um i liked that i mean I didn't know where it was going. They let you know that it was a part of what was going on, but I didn't know where it was going, so that was all right. But I don't know, it sometimes uh, um, uh, got a little annoying. Um, but for the most part, this film was really well done. Um, and it's, I would say it's, it's a must see. Uh, and uh, uh, one thing to watch for um, is the fishing motif. It's, it's pretty blatant when you're like, why is he fishing? What was all this intercutting? And oh man, when when it <laughs> it's it's interesting. It's an interesting motif to use, and I liked how they used it in this film. All in all, uh, Vice is an excellent film. Um, maybe a little long in some parts, but for the most part, it is well put together. Story is well told and well performed. So, it, if you like political political movies and and biopics on on characters from american history you won't be disappointed not at all so there you have it remember subscribe on youtube like on facebook follow on instagram and always if you like it podcast anchor so until next week watch something cool see you